Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Knowledge Unlimited. In this video, I am going to explain about PN junction and a no bias case. So if you take a material PN, now the first thing is in the P type material, the majority carriers are that is called mobile carriers are holes and in the N type, the majority carriers are electrons. So now as the number of holes are more in this P type, they will try to diffuse in this direction because of concentration gradient there is a phenomena of diffusion and in the n type the number of free electrons are more so they will try to diffuse in this direction now the thing is when the holes are diffusing into this n type they will become minority carriers in this n type as i already told you one electron in bunch of holes cannot survive much longer time so there will be a phenomenon of recombination that is going to take place in both p type and n type so with this recombination you will get a case where you will get positive ions here positive ions because the donor atoms will donate electrons which will recombine with holes so during recombination we will lose one electron one hole in addition to that, you will get one positive ion and one negative ion I already told before. So now the thing is here in the P type as the electron recombined with hole, you will get negative ions in this direction and positive ions in this direction. So this is called as barrier or depletion region. Why we are calling that region as depletion region is the next point that one should know. But the thing is. If you look at the dipole, it will be like this plus and minus. There will be field from positive to minus. So similarly, you can see here there is a dipole phenomena happening here. So there will be a potential that is developed here called as V. As it is inside this device, it is uh, produced in inside the device or it is formed inside the device. This is called as built in potential. Now this potential will act as a barrier will act as a barrier to stop further diffusion. Why? Because in no bias case as it is under it is also called as equilibrium in equilibrium there is no net current there is no net current. So to stop that net current after some time the phenomena of diffusion should not happen. So that is stopped by this barrier. So this barrier will not allow further diffusion to take place in this case. The thing is the potential, the built-in potential as it is plus this side and minus this side, the built-in potential will be in this direction way built-in. Now if any hole further want to diffuse, it will come in this direction but instead of going like that due to the potential that is present, it will deviate its path backward. And similarly, if there is a hole trying to come like this or trying to diffuse like this due to the built in potential, it will deviate like this. So the further diffusion is stopped by this barrier. So it is called as V built in potential as it produced inside the device. So that is the importance of built in potential. Now the thing is still uh, this is the phenomena. So that's why no current, but why? during equilibrium case why there is no net current is the next thing that one should know the thing that is happening here is due to thermal generation there is always electron and hole pair generated in the device electron and hole pair now if you take a pn like this pn junction here you got a depletion region because there is no mobile carriers there is only immobile ions only immobile ions so we call this as depletion region now due to electron uh, due to this thermal generation there is always electron and hole pair if electron is generated in this electron hole pair generated here but as electron is minority it will immediately recombine with the hole that is present in this case so there is no net and in the n type also electron hole pair will be generated and the hole will be minority carrier here and it will immediately recombine but the thing is there is 
some electron hole pair generation that also takes place in this depletion region the electron hole pair generation will also takes place in this depletion region now due to small diffusion even though the barrier will help or uh, stop the diffusion current but there is small diffusion current that is present because of concentration gradient so let me take jp diffusion in this direction and jn diffusion as ho electrons will diffuse in this direction the current will be in this direction so jn diff will be also in this direction jn diff now electron hole pair is generated in the depletion region but the driving electric field or potential the built in electric field built in is in this direction now the electron and hole pair generated in this depletion region will move like this because of this electric field because of this electric field the hole will come like this so the because of this electric field this is called as drift drift of p jp drift you can call the jp drift will be in this direction and holes will dif, uh, drift in this direction so the current will be in this direction so the drift current of holes will be in this direction sorry drift current of electrons will be in this direction so these two will cancel out each other resulting in the net current or equivalent current to be zero so in this way in the no bias case or under steady state or equilibrium not steady state actually under equilibrium case there is no net flow of current in the pn junction so this is the basic uh, case that everyone should know in the pn junction that is under no bias case or under equilibrium case you can call so in the next video i am going to explain about the reverse bias case later we are going to see about the forward bias and all the different mathematical expressions that are required to solve numerical problems which are very important for gate exam that's all for this video if you have any doubts regarding the explanation you please go through the video again and still if you are not clear with any concept then you can comment me in the comment section that's all for this video see you in the next one